everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video where I'm going to talk about some of my favorite small knives. The ironic thing is that my last video on small EDC knives is one of the most popular videos on my channel, and while I had never thought about remaking it, I've had an influx of new knives come in over the past year, and a lot of them are really great small knives, and they weren't featured in that original video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk a little bit about them. So first off, let's start off with this knife. This knife is one that looks should look familiar to people. It's the Spyderco Dragonfly, but it has um, really beautiful micarta scales. So this is a ZDP Dragonfly with um, aftermarket scales, and they just look absolutely gorgeous. And so this is one of my favorite knives, uh, and it's one that will probably just stay in my collection because... It's really great. But you didn't come here to see a review of a dragonfly. You came here to see a talk of this pile of knives. And by the way, I love when people do videos on YouTube and talk with their fingers. So let's line them up. So the first knife that I touched was the uh, Civivi Knives uh, Baby Banter. The next one was the Benchmade 945. The next one was the CRTK Kith. The one after that was the um, spy, or, uh, the TRM Neutron. And then this one is going to have to be right here because it goes off camera if I don't do that. And this is uh, this was the Jester and this is the Riv. So let's talk about each one of these knives and why I think they're really good choices. So let's start here with the banter. We'll move all these aside and we'll go through them one at a time. The banter, uh, the baby banter is a knife designed by Ben Peterson. It is a follow-up to the full-size banter and this knife is substantially better than the full-size banter for a bunch of reasons. Number one, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to pocket and that's a big thing. But number two, it's got a really great finger choil. If you notice, this finger choil is a little different than the Spyderco finger choil. It's not quite like a completely naked finger choil, but it's also not this kind of choil where you have uh, a sharp demarcation. By doing it the way they did, you don't have to worry about poking your finger on the blade, but you can still sharpen all the way up to the edge, which is something you can't do in this Spyderco style choil. So this reduced size and the great finger choil Make this one of my favorite small knives on the market right now. Uh, the steel is um, uh, Nitro V steel, so it's got a decent steel. It's got a deep carry pocket clip, and it just fires out. Ben sent me this as a review sample, and I'm going to do a full review and an overview soon. But this is the uh, Civivi Knives Banter, and as you can see, it's a really, really tiny knife. It's smaller even than the Dragonfly. That's a great knife. Uh, this is not such a small knife. I mean, it's still smaller than three inches. By the way, all of these have blades under three inches. But this is a really, really sweet little piece. This is the Benchmade 945. This is one of my very favorite small knives right now. In fact, I think it's probably supplanted this knife as my favorite Benchmade on the market right now. This is a great little folder. The only thing I don't like about it is the S30V blade steel, but you know, S30V is fine. Uh, just a little harder to sharpen than it should be. This thing locks up like a drum and it's got the cool green and purple Joker color scheme. I like this knife a lot. I would prefer a deep carry clip. I'll probably send out for one uh, sooner rather than later, but this is a next, another excellent knife in the small knives category. I would probably not pay full price for it. I'd probably, you know, get it online because the MSRP on this knife is a little high for what you get. Uh, the next knife that I wanted to talk about is this knife. This is the Ken Steerwalt Design CRKT Kith. This is one of my very favorite small budget knives. As you can see, it's got a front lock. It runs 8CR 13 MOV, so this is definitely a budget knife. It has, as you can see, this kind of looks like shred carbon fiber, but it's actually just textured FRN to make it look like carbon fiber. It's not actual carbon fiber, as opposed to like this knife, which is actual carbon fiber. Um, the big deal with this knife is it is a really solid performer for under 30 bucks. It's got a deep carry pocket clip. It's got a normal blade shape. It's got an easy access thumb stud. Um, you know, this knife just carries well and it's easy to cut stuff with. 
It's a little thicker than it needs to be, but uh, overall, if you're gonna have $30 in your pocket to spend and you want a small EDC knife, this is a really good option. Uh, look how simple that clip is. It's just like, hmm, there you go, done. If you notice, that clip is awfully similar to this clip. These are good designs. So that was the CRKT Kith. Um, this is a knife that's a little older, less new than those knives. The, those knives all just came out in the last three months. This is the uh, TRM uh, Nerd. And boy, is this a fantastic small everyday carry knife. It is just a master class in design. As you can see, this is a full on naked choil. There's nothing there to stop your finger. Um, you've got a really good, interesting blade shape that delivers a lot of thickness to the tip. You've got a good belly here. You've got an excellent handle. Oh, I just love this knife. Look how thin the knife is. I mean, it's a thin knife. It's a thin knife. We know the dragonfly's thin and this is contoured and just a little thicker, but not substantially so. It also drops and hides in the pocket brilliantly well. Uh, there's the pocket clip, as you can see. It's not quite as simple as the one on the baby banter, but it's still really, really good. If you want a very premium 20 CV uh, shred carbon fiber, these are obviously easily swappable because it's a TRM. If you want a knife that has all of these specs, it's probably worth the hunt to track down a nerd because this is one of the very best high-end small knives on the market and one of the easiest knives on the planet to EDC. I absolutely love this knife. I wish the choil was a little different. It does tend to get a little bunchy, but you know, you're doing those kind of cuts, so it's unlikely that you're gonna have an issue. But man, is this a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely perfect um, small EDC knife. Uh, another knife that's uh, relatively new, but not quite as new as the first three on the market is this knife. This is the Giant Mouse Riv. It was designed by uh, Giant Mouse and produced by Rayot. It has, this version has the micarta handle and it has titanium frame lock. This has a deep carry over the top pocket clip, but it's a wire clip, which I really like. And this is probably, if somebody was saying, what would, what would you get to replace the Dragonfly? Because the Dragonfly and ZW-1890 is out of stock. I would say get this knife because man, is this knife great. It just melts into your hand. As you can see, this has a full naked choil here. There's nothing to stop you. Um, the flipper works okay, but I generally prefer to flip it open with the index, uh, the middle finger, because that works really nice. Um, this jimping up here is in the right spot. It's not like way back. The blade shape is good. The knife is relatively thin. It's not quite as thin as the Neutron, as you can see. Neutron is a little bit thinner, but not much. This is a great, great knife. In many ways, it kind of reminds me of what would happen if the the Dragonfly and the, the and, uh, Strider had a baby. It's a great, great knife. I love this knife a lot. And it is back in stock, so you can go get that. The next knife up is the only auto in the group. I'm typically not a fan of automatic knives, largely because the deployment on something like this is so good that I don't see the point. But this is the Protec Runt 5, and this is the modified Warren Clip version. This knife punches way above its weight in terms of its spring power. As you can see, it shakes. I'm just gonna leave my hand on the table and you can see it shakes the camera. I mean, this is this knife, like all uh, like all good autos and like all Protex, it really fires well. I've never had a false fire. I mean, you can, you know, if this is in your pocket, you could press on this all day and it's not gonna go off. You really do have to exert a extra amount of attentive force to make that knife fly open. One thing I'm really not thrilled about, and I don't know how to fix this other than to just get a sprint, is this, look at that. That is a an exposed uh, rear blade tank if I've ever seen one, but you know, the knife is so small, the package is so nice, I'm not really all that worried. It's 20 CV steel and it runs a deep carry over the top pocket clip. You can see a theme. These deep carry over the top over the top pocket clips are getting really, really good and really simple. So that's the runt five. Uh, and then finally, uh, the smallest knife in the group, and probably the one that's hardest to find other than this one, because I think this is the only one, 
is this knife. This is the Knife Joker uh, Spyderco Jester Sprint Run and Glow in the Dark FRN and a 20 CV blade. This is definitely, as you can see, I use this knife all the time. This is the best version of the small, of the best ultra compact on the market. It just works super well. I love this knife. I really, really like the blade shape. It gives you the ability to do some serious precision cuts. And if you're not doing food prep where you probably need a slightly larger blade, I would just go with this. And it also works well when paired with the tiny flashlight. This flashlight is my uh, Vanilla Designs 38DD prototype, uh, which ultimately came out as the Quantum 2. And it is a... Um, a Q uh, QTC activated light it's super duper tiny i mean you can see this this light is like half the size of the dragonfly but paired together it gives you actually a good ability to choke up so you have something to hold on to when you're cutting so uh if you're looking for an ultra compact knife so not a knife so small you would never want to have it on a pocket uh clip this is probably the best one on the market. And this version is the best version of the best one on the market. So uh, that was a really quick overview of a bunch of really small knives, all of which I really like. Um, if I had to pick my favorite, it would probably be that one or that one. Depending on the day, it's one of these two. But man, these both are really excellent. Um, they're also the most expensive. If I was going to recommend one for somebody to buy, it would probably be that one because, you know, for the money, you're getting a really good buy, but it's not a budget knife. And finally, if you're on a budget, the real, the only real choice here, because all of these knives otherwise are at least $50 or more, is the Kith. This is a surprisingly good knife given its materials and its price. I just like this knife quite a bit. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, and look for uh, video overviews of some of these coming soon and look for written reviews as well. Thanks a lot.